maybe a cookie way to stop this video is uh, I'm sorry to say but Mrs. Cow it's rest in peace Mrs. Cow I think I've had enough of this metal ornament in the backyard it's often been a redback spider nest uh, Mrs. Cow has been incinerated a couple of times over and if I give Mrs. Cow a bit of a bang here you can see she's sort of fallen apart uh, I think there is spider web up inside her I don't know whether I really want to understand what it is I think I've had enough of Mrs. Cow and yeah, sadly, um, goodbye Mrs. Cow. It was very lovely knowing you. You've served me very well. Um, but um, gun ornaments like that uh, will be nothing but trouble. Crikey, so if I put Mrs. Cow in the right bin, maybe she should have gone in the yellow bin. Mrs. Cow is probably more like a steel can. I should put her in this bin, shouldn't I? Warning. The warning on this video has been removed, and this video is highly educational. Ah, yes, yes, this is uh, good news, uh, very good news. I've been doing a big, 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 big tidy up, and uh, underneath the lip of one of my favourite black plastic tubs, I'm seeing something that I really like to see. Well, right there, it's one of those grey house spiders, whatever spider, cement spider, and it's egg sac, and there's spiderlings there, and... Uh, I can put that to a very good purpose. There is that saying, waste not, want not, and I can use these spiders to help me control the redback spiders in the backyard, and I'm gonna put these spiders where I wanna get rid of those redbacks. This is the area down here. I've sort of done this before with the spiders that I found underneath my car, and it's a very simple thing. I'll just put the tub here, and then I'll come in and get those spiders out. I'm so glad the family spider brush is coming into uh, some great use here. Okay, so if I just do that. Oh yeah, the spiderlings are dropping down and whatnot. I can get them down into this tub area down here somewhere. It's going to take a little bit of time for this experiment. Scientific, there's a nice word, scientific experiment to play out in the backyard. And I'm, think, I'm thinking it's going to work. And if I take a look down here, very quickly we might have a peek up between those tubs right now i've got no idea what mummy is doing with all of this veggie scrap in bags here but i'll put it back to as you had it or else i'll get into lots of trouble just looking up between the tubs i can see a very very fine spider web there i'm hoping it's a good spider and not a bad one i can see a spider there up under the lip of the tub there i'm hoping it's a good spider i really don't want to disturb this area too much because uh, what I'm trying to kick off here is only early days. I've looked up between the other tubs here, it's looking very clean. We're at the beginning of May, uh, at the end of the spider season, we're headed into winter where I live. And the theory is that the grey house spider, if it is a grey house spider, that is up between the tubs, and I'm hoping that it is, because this is the area where I've deployed them, is going to stop the redback spiders from setting up their nests in these areas here. And I better do the right thing here. And uh, put this back to somehow how mummy had it or else I'll, I'll just get in the stacks of trouble these days. You know what it's like. Now the trick here is I can't come along and firebomb this area to get rid of the spiders because I might be getting rid of spiders that I really want to keep around. Uh, that's the theory. It's going to be a little bit boring, isn't it, without burning up the garden. Anyway, I'm hoping that this is going to work for me. I'll put my tub back to where it belongs. Mummy's choco vine hanging quite low this year and you either love chocos or you hate them. When we were kids and even today I call McDonald's apple pies choco pies because there was a conspiracy that there was basically flavoured choco inside the apple pies. I can't stand chocos although mummy sneaks these damn things into my meals. Okay and then she says there you go dear you love chocos you didn't realise you just had one. Tell me whether you like chocos or not. We seem to have a lot of them this time of year. And the choco vine has been very, very interesting because we've had some little visitors that have been living up in the vine up in that area there, okay? I put some little cameras up there and well, it's amazing what you find of what goes on at night up in the choco vine. And I think this is a friend of the garden. I'm hoping it's a friend. And it was very interesting to watch this friend uh, do his little thing up there. And there was also another very, very, very dear friend of the garden who was living there. And maybe, maybe we'll, we'll have a bit more of a discussion about that friend in the future. And the reason why I know this friend oh so well. 
but I can't promise you that we're ever going to go there because it's a very, very touchy subject when we're dealing with these sorts of creatures. Sorry for the roofing sounds in the background. That's all I seem to hear around this area these days. Hope you learned something in this video or else I'm in a stack of trouble.